Hello, my name is Rafael Diniz. Uh, I'm presenting the paper Towards a Point Cloud Quality Assessment Model Using Local Binary Patterns. Uh, the authors of the paper are myself, Rafael Diniz, Milene Farias, and Pedro Garcia. We are based in the University of Brasilia. Uh, the summary of uh, my presentation will be uh, an introduction, brief introduction about point cloud quality assessment, our proposed method, uh, the experimental setup, results, and conclusions. Well, uh, briefly, point clouds are structures that are composed by 3D position information, uh, by color information, and sometimes other attributes like transparency and so on. Uh, our focus is on point cloud quality assessment and um, there are two classes of quality assessment, subjective and objective. The subjective quali quality assessment uh, involves human participants which give uh, scores to the quality of the point clouds. There are some experiments like Zhang, Alexio, Javaheri, Zerman, that uh, have th that c they carried uh, subjective experiments with point clouds and provided subjective scores that we use some of them in our work. And well, the objective quality assessment is uh, exactly the class that we are working with. There basically algorithms that predict the quality of point clouds. Uh, some recent work involves the work from Alexio Ibrahimi, Maynet, Torlig, and um, many of these metrics proposed to assess the quality of point clouds are based on point-to-point, point-to-plane, plane-to-plane uh, error measures and some of them are also based on projection-based approaches in which the point clouds are projected to, to 2D images, surfaces and standard uh, image quality metrics then are applied. Well, our method uh, is inspired and is based on the local binary patterns uh, LBP is used for um, metrics, for quality assessment metrics for 2D images already. And for 2D images it works like in this picture. Uh, you take every point, every pixel of an image, take its neighborhood, and then, for example, define the luminance of the point as a threshold, Every point in the neighborhood below this threshold gets zero. Every point more than this threshold gets one. And then you create a label for each point. And this is uh, this is used to define a texture for the image, and also to create statistics for quality assessment. This is the formal definition of the LBP. Uh, LBP is typically applied or was defined originally for a 3D image with a dense grid where you have a well-defined neighborhood and LBP, uh, th there are many variants of the LBP for example the rot rotation invariant LBP and in this work we just use it as inspiration the standard LBP and used it to create our metric well, our, pr our proposed method uh, is split in some steps to command them. Uh, voxelization, the LBP uh, feature map creation, the feature map histograms, distance calculation from where we extract the quality prediction after a regression algorithm. Well, the voxelization found, we found it to be useful for our metric. Uh, in a point cloud, you, you typically have just points and color attributes. You don't really have a, a discrete measure of the size of the points. So
so it's important to voxelize it in, in order also to try to emulate how it is rendered to the viewer so we do this procedure we just apply the heuristic to define the voxel size for each set of reference and degraded point cloud we use this heuristic of 60 percent of the original points in the voxelized point cloud for the lesser point the lesser number of points point cloud in the set we just start with a small voxel size and grow it till the point cloud the output point cloud has about 60 percent of the points of the original point cloud and uh, well after the voxelization we apply the LBP for point clouds indeed we adapted it this is more or less the 2D this picture shows the 2D application of the LBP we adapted to point clouds so in in order to do it we took the eight nearest points of the each point to calculate the label of each point the LBP label and uh, we, vi we visit the points for the closest point to the far away point order and this approach with this approach we get the feature map with point cloud LBP labels and with these labels we create a histogram of the frequency of each label and this this graph shows how the this process works we get the feature map we from the feature map we calculate the histogram of the labels and we compare we we take the distance of for example reference and degraded histograms of point clouds and then we get a number and with this number we carry a regression with the subjective ground truth in order to fit our curve to to the human vision system and then we establish a predicted uh, quality value for the point clouds uh <coughs> we just use the third degree function to fit our data to the ground truth and we compared our output from our algorithm our metric to some already available metrics uh, mostly of them most of them based on point to point point to plane plane to plane and projection based we use three data sets with the associated uh, subjective scores carried by the studies of Torlig, Alexio and Cruz and we can see that our uh, scores the person correlation the other SROCC the RMSC values for one data set we were the best for for other data set we were second best not very far for the third data set we were not that good but if you take the average of our proposal with the other metrics with the the best performance best performing metrics that we tested uh, we are still best among them and we think this is a uh, good sign that we are in a path that can give good results and still uh, computationally efficient fast to run and so the conclusions are that we have uh, a novel point cloud quality assessment metric uh, using the LBP texture descriptor and with uh, res the results we got we think we have strong performance and we can evolve this to to a good metric that uh, can be used where needed so thank you very much and yeah uh, 
I hope you understood and if not, I think questions are not exactly now. Thank you.